In Dota 2, a hero's movement speed is a way of measuring how many units they can move per second. On today's episode of Dota Math, we'll be taking a look at how movement speed is calculated. Let's take a look at the formulas now. All units start out with a base movement speed. A hero's base movement speed ranges from 280 to 330. All lane creeps have a base movement speed of 325. The base movement speed for neutral creeps ranges from 270 to 350. The movement speed for ancient creeps ranges from 270 to 350, with the black drakes being the fastest. Now let's see how the mechanics of items, buffs, and debuffs affect base movement speed. A unit's movement speed is equal to their base movement speed plus any flat movement speed bonuses times 1 plus the sum of any percentage based movement speed bonuses. One should note that this means percentage based movement speed bonuses stack additively, unlike League of Legends where they stack multiplicatively. Also, a unit's movement speed cannot go below 100 or above 522. Let's take a look at some examples. Luna has a base movement speed of 330. With Boots of Travel, her movement speed increases to 430, since Boots of Travel grant a flat movement speed bonus equal to 100. If Luna also has a Yasha, which offers a 10% movement speed buff and a Drum of Endurance, which offers a passive 5% movement speed aura, this would mean that her movement speed would be equal to 494.5. Keep in mind that even though the game displays Luna's movement speed as an integer, 495, Luna's movement speed is still 494.5, it just isn't displayed. To this constant movement speed boost, let's add the active ability Endurance from the drums, which grants an additional 10% bonus movement speed. This will cause Luna to reach the 522 movement speed cap. Now let's quickly take a look at how slows affect movement speed. The previous value is multiplied by 1 minus the sum of any incoming slows. Just like percentage based movement speed bonuses, slows will also stack additively. Overall, a hero's movement speed cannot go above 522 or below 100. Also, both percentage based movement speed buffs and slows will stack additively. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. You can also like Dota Math on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and join the community on Reddit. Thanks for watching this episode of Dota Math.